Hello Paper Crafters, Kim Ferguson. Today is Mother's Day Monday and I'm going to scrapbook a layout for 2016 when my husband had delivered to my school some personalized M&Ms. So on these M&Ms there is a picture of my two sons together, number one mom, happy Mother's Day, and I think that might be all the sayings. Oh, love you mom is another one. So what I have done is I took the packaging that these came in and I used my fuse tool. So if you don't know what a fuse tool is, it is this. And so I have this little roller on it and this gets hot and so it melts the plastic. So you just take it along with this ruler, you go along the edge and then you go just like this. And you have to find the perfect speed so that you don't hold it on there too long to melt the plastic or not enough to where it won't make the seal. So it's like those um, seal meals that we used to use or still use. I have one in my craft room that I use for making uh, mailable uh, packages. So I put them in like the seal mill bags with confetti and all kinds of things and I can, you can mail those. So anyway, I do have a seal mill in the craft room. But anyway, so I use the, full the fuse tool to seal this up and hopefully, you know, these will last in my scrapbook. We'll see. It'll be an experiment. Years down the road, I might be like, oh my goodness, there's ants all over my scrapbook. We'll see. <laughs> so anyway, so we're going to give that a try. It's kind of like a shaker, but with M&Ms. And so the other thing is um, Google chose the number 11, which is paint and inks or alcohol inks. So I used... Um, some sh like some shimmer mist things. So I use the strawberry daiquiri from uh, it looks like some memories mist, Heidi Swap, uh, patina, and Heidi Swap gold. So those are the colors I used. I pulled out the green, the red, and um, the yellow from this paper. There wasn't a yellow in the actual M and M's that I received, but um. Uh, I didn't have a blue in this, so I picked those three colors. And then what I did is I created a background by just splattering those colors. So I was thinking I would do a two-page spread. That's why I did it on here. But once I kind of laid everything out, it fits appropriately on one page, which makes me happier for, you know, less, you know, pages to put in my album just for M&Ms. And then this is the gut from the back of my colored stock, colored, colored card stock, colored stock. And then this is the 12 by 12 m and paper that I used. So this is a full sheet. So I still have some because I decided not to do full two pages. And then I did use my corner rounder because m and are round. And so I thought that played in and I ended up matting a couple photos to make them stand out from the m and uh, busy paper and what else oh this was um from actually a card that was in with the m m's and it's right in the middle was all of their like social media sites to log on and show pictures of your m m's and so on and so forth but i thought it'd be kind of fun to save this and i don't want to use the share your so i'm going to be putting this over this and then it just be has hashtag my sweet story and then i like the m m's at the bottom and they're all on their phones. See, that's why I say it was for their social medias. It's showing them getting on their phones and, and uh, you know, supposedly putting the pictures up of their M&Ms. And it's mymms.com in case you are interested to purchase for someone else. And then I got creative with this. So here, this shows you really well on the green ones, what they said. And like I say, there was some that had the pictures of my two boys together. And it came in this lovely jar. So very fun idea. I had a hard time eating them, you guys. It's, it was my husband was just like, why aren't you eating those? I was like, because it's got my boy's pictures on it. It's it's a, it's a memory item. <laughs> so they gave me a really hard time. So you can see it's just the red and the green that have anything printed on them. But what a great idea, right? Okay, so let's move all of this off so I can adhere down my splatter page. So you can see, oh, come on. Ooh, it does not like white. Have you noticed that when I've filmed there? It doesn't like the white background. Isn't that interesting? Okay, we'll do the white really fast. Get it done and get it off here. So sorry if it goes really blurry again. It doesn't like because it can't focus on that white paper. 
Interesting. At least we kind of know now, so I know to hurry up and get the white down. All right. And then I shouldn't have uh, hit my microphone tonight. I have those bookends over to the left, and I put everything with those bookends that I want to show you that I have used. And there, are, everything's vertical, so I don't have to be jigging out from anything else because I hate doing that. <laughs> so hopefully that worked. Okay, so I'm going to put this one down here and start with this. So using the packaging really just helped with my embellishments because I don't have a lot of M&M stuff. I was lucky to come across that M&M pattern paper. I thought that was pretty exciting when I did find that. Okay, and then I want to put this down. I'm going to put this down and then I'll sneak that other one behind. So I won't, I won't go clear to the top on this. So yeah, paint. Paint kind of stresses me out. If you've known me for very long, you know that I'm an art teacher and I'm the art teacher that doesn't like paint. So I don't know if that's, if that's, you know, can be said in the same sentence. But I don't, it's not my favorite because it's so messy. It can be so messy. And then with middle schoolers, they can be so messy. Paint is not my favorite. Paper crafting favorite. Okay, now let's just stick this down in there. Leave a little bit of the white border like I did down below. All right, and then this, I have some red line tape on the back of it. And like I say, taking a risk here. I did put the M&Ms all in there in the right side up that shows the saints and the boys' faces. And this will just kind of camouflage that share your. And I'm okay that it says hashtag my sweet story. Okay, there we go. Hopefully you're going to be fine. Okay, then this is going to go under there. Oops, I forgot about that. Build that down really well, didn't I? It's okay. Oh, I need that. Good, getting stuff used up. Okay, and then I want it to go this way because there's less of the imprint, imprinted words and the pictures because this corner is going to go right here. I picked the side that had the least amount of the personalization. There we go. Okay, and then here's a picture of it in the bowl or the jar. And then I, I was going to crop this down, but I was like, oh my goodness, there's like my first texting, you know, real texting phone. It wasn't a Blackberry, but it, the kids always thought it was a Blackberry. And this is a watch I used to wear. So on this are some memories that I want to keep. So I didn't cut that out. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. Like I forgot about that one. That was what, maybe five phones ago? If that many, maybe not even that many. Now we carry these huge things that do everything in the world. That one was so simple. Took me a long time to quit using that. There we go. That just shows you an aerial view of it in the jar, you know, a little bit further away than the close-up. And then this shows you the actual outside of the jar. And I used a circle die cut to cut that circle out. And then I felt like it needed to pop off the page too, so I added the cardstock and rounded the corner because everything's round. So again, pretty basic layout, but I'm getting pictures down telling the story and I'm sticking to my plan and my challenge to actually be getting some pages finished with actual photos. All right, everything is down. Now I wanted to go through and I thought I would put some Nouveau drops just to give a little bit more of like the M&M &M look. I didn't like burp these first, so hopefully they'll work well. This way, I'll just kind of add a little bit more to these. Put one over here, too. 
So again, from my paint container, I grabbed these Nouveau drops. I'm going to use the same three colors. Ooh, see, didn't burp that. Don't have time. Oh, here. Got to get things done. I, I had a really busy grading and teaching day, so I was worried I would not be able to do this today. But here we are. Okay, so those of course have to dry. The paint is already dried, but there is my M&M Mother's Day layout. So I hope you learned something from this. I thought this was fun use for the fuse tool. I think that's about the only wow factor in this because everybody does the paint splatters, right? But I use things. That's what's important to me is not only getting my pictures down, but also using the things that are in my stash. And I can check both of those boxes. So thank you so much for being here with me. Like, subscribe, share, and happy crafting. Bye-bye.